I've been following Ecoative's work for quite some time. Uh, it's one of the oldest companies uh, working with mycelium and biomaterials design. Coming from a design background, it was very obvious for me to follow their work. January 2022, I took a leave from my teaching at the University of Pennsylvania and I joined Ecovative as the director of Foundry Engineering. I work with mycelium that is becoming uh, leather, uh, aerial mycelium. So we are building these boxes where you can dial in different parameters so that you change the properties of mycelium. You can program their thickness, their elasticity or their roll rate so that you can, they can become different kinds of materials. It's actually a pretty new system for the entire world. So we have lots of people know how to put uh, systems in the pharmaceutical industry or in the beer industry. We want to do the same thing with mycelium. We are not really building this for making one material. This is going to be a platform that will allow us to design all kinds of materials. Normally what we do is somebody gives you an animal you know, hide and then you do something with that animal hide. You don't go back and design the animal hide for that. Now we can close the loop. I have an application here. I can go back and design the parameters according to that. Ecovative has scientists, engineers, uh, business experts that really work together to make sure that what we invent on the bench can be scaled out and deployed and make a meaningful impact in the world. Because ultimately Ecovative's goal is to really make products raw materials that can be produced at scale. I always think of Ecovative as a place where I come to learn how to work and live with mycelium. So it's almost like a learning environment where your learning is not just a skill set, but also a way of you know, working with an organism or understanding how an organism works. Biology is way more advanced than any other technical engineering system that you can think about. I think bio design or material design in the future is always going to be about building relationships with organisms as opposed to thinking of them as you know, extracted resources.